Let me give you the story of my GDP. The first trillion took me 67 years. The second trillion took me eight years. The third trillion took me five years. Are you seeing where I'm progressing? But let me tell you more, something more interesting. From 2015 until now, that is what? We are nine years. I moved ahead of Russia, Italy, Brazil, France, UK, from number 10 to number five in size of my GDP. I'm knocking at Germany by the end of this year or early next year, I become number four. And before the pandemic, I was the fastest growing large economy on the planet. And after the pandemic, I am the fastest growing large economy on the planet. This story, ladies and gentlemen, has just begun. Ladies and gentlemen, just 9,000 from days from today, I'll turn 100. 15th August, 2047. I'm an ancient civilization, but I'm one of the youngest democracies on the planet. We often forget that. And on that day, 21% of the world's workforce will be in India. 20% of the world's middle class will be in India. This is the new India. When will you think you are a successful startup nation? And I had said, the day an Indian mother is willing to give her daughter in marriage to a young startup. In a period of 84 months, you are number three in the world in number of unicorns. You are number two in the world in number of startups. You are number one in the world with new startups adding every day. The total FDI I have received in my history from 1947 has been about 950 odd billion dollars. 532 of them has come in the past 90 months. It's come from 162 countries. It's a global record. Remember, FDI is not just about that dollar coming in. FDI is about trust. FDI is about the world's trust in you, in your future, in your leadership, in your opportunity, in your entrepreneurship, and your ability to partner with them and to deliver on their faith and trust in you. 162. And let me tell you, for eight consecutive years from 2015, we set up a new FDI record for ourselves every year. Even in the midst of the lockdown in 2022, the most unprecedented lockdown in human history, you received your highest ever FDI of $83.5 billion. Highest ever. Ladies and gentlemen, just 9,000 from days from today, I'll turn 100. 15th August, 2047. I'm an ancient civilization, but I'm one of the youngest democracies on the planet. We often forget that. And on that day, 21% of the world's workforce will be in India. 20% of the world's middle class will be in India. This is the new India, which wants to be with you, partner with you, and walk for your future and for ours.